so you want to do an opening credit title sequence for your video like this. Today we're going to be talking about how to do that utilizing the prism pack from rocket stock um, So I'm gonna hop right into the edit show you guys the simple basics of doing this and then how you can expand it for your future Vlog documentary movie you name it. This is a really good tool to have All right, so let's open up our timeline. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze uh, I wonder if you say pineapple if it just <laughs> that, okay, so first open up your editing software choice, mine being Premiere Pro. So the first thing you want to do is import your clips and your assets. So I have the Prism Pack here, and if you download it, basically, let's just kind of go through it super quickly. You get uh, angled wipes, you get arrows, you get circles, and so basically what these look like is they're just like matted uh, shapes that expand and animate. Um, so there's so many to play with. I'm actually just going to show you how to do it with one set uh, of the angled wipes, but I would highly recommend playing around with all of them. They're all super duper fun and really effective. So basically what we're gonna do is be playing around with these angled wipes here because I really dig them. But as all, like all editing sequences, no matter where you go or what you do, always start off with your, your base layer, which is your footage. So what I'm gonna do is find my shots that I want. I've got this photo of me holding a camera here, so we're just gonna drag and drop that into the timeline. And then we're gonna add like this shot of an other camera in here, because you know, it kind of fits the same flavor. And that's like whatever your opening title sequence is, it should resemble whatever your show or vlog is about. So for me, I do videography and filmmaking, so I'm gonna try and let that hopefully circulate within that realm. So I've got this camera here, so what I'm gonna do is just drag and drop this shot of a camera in, uh, and first things first is at 60 frames, so we'll have to change that. And then here's another shot of a camera as well. So we've got three shots in here, and what I'm gonna do is just convert them all so that they go, uh, right now they're 60 frames per second. I'm just gonna slow them down. Change them to 40%, and here's kind of my timeline. So if we play it out, there's a shot of me holding the camera, then it goes to another camera, then it goes to another camera, and then we're gonna cut here, and maybe go back to me holding the camera here. So I'm kind of assembling just a very basic timeline right now. Um, the big thing that you wanna do part of your timeline is just make sure everything looks the way you want it. So I'm gonna scale this in. I'm so sorry, the fan in my computer is going nuts. I wonder if I can move the microphone. Oh boy, my battery's at 4%. I wonder if I can blast through this. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is turn off your Wi-Fi, try and save your battery, it'll lower the brightness. Let's get right into this. The first thing you wanna do is have all your clips the way you want them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually animate this photo. And again, as much movement as possible. You want your movement to actually be relatively subtle. So what I'm gonna do is just go into here, do position move. Uh, and there'll be future tutorials on how to do a lot of this stuff um, elsewhere. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna animate this, animate, I'm gonna animate this photo. I'm gonna do a slow move, a slow creep on it. So it just kind of goes like that. And then when we cut to the B-roll, it goes like this. And then, you know, maybe I'll just do like a final, like big, big scaling of me holding the camera. And then maybe we'll just do like a position left to right here. So we'll go there and then we'll just move it. So if we play it out, we get this. So the shots run out a little long, but that's okay. Um, with any edit, uh, it's always good for your first edit to go a little bit longer, and then that way you can trim away. It's a lot harder to expand a timeline than it is to shorten it. Okay, next set of things that we're gonna do is actually start applying these prism effects. So again, we've got all these crazy ones, squares, organic, triangles, waves. What I'm actually gonna go into is my angled wipes because I think they look the most opening credit-ish. Um, and so this is the first one that we have, which is just kind of like the two bars coming in and um, eliminating the remaining black there. So I'm going to drag and drop that into here. You play it, you're like, that's weird. That's weird, it just takes away my image. What the heck's going on here? So the first thing that you wanna do is, since there is no layer for it to wipe into, we're gonna drag and drop it over top of our first set of three shots, because you need basically the three tracks to be filled. The top one should be of like your, your wipe, second one should be of the shot that you wanna wipe into, and then the first one is what you're trying to wipe out of. So, 
Let's go into here. We're going to apply the angle wipe actually to our camera shot. So you're gonna scroll over into your effects panel and then you're gonna type in track mat. So you're gonna drag and drop that into your first shot, which is this one of the camera. And then I'm gonna go into effects controls, go down and mat layer four. So now if we press play, this is like such a cool effect. Track mat is so powerful of a tool and there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Press play and now it cuts that right into there. Now my, my photo kind of skips because there's a cut here. So let's get rid of that. And I'm gonna just drag this out a little bit longer. So when we press play, here's what we get. Like that, it just cuts right in. It's starting to feel like an opening credit sequence already. So now if we play it out, it goes a little long by the time it hits the two second mark. So I'm gonna play it, probably move this transition over to about the 47 second, 47 millisecond mark. Then so let's press play. We go into the camera and already I want another transition into another shot. So I'm gonna actually just drag this bad boy up over here. And then let's go into um, an other uh, angled effect. So we're gonna go into our angle wipes. Let's check this one out. That one looks pretty much the exact same. This one's kind of cool. So this one's just on its own. So I'm gonna just drag and drop that, boom. Pop that right into my timeline. And now if we press play, we get this. So pretty interesting stuff. So again, what you wanna do is apply that track mat effect to um, your, your next shot that you wanna wipe into. So I'm gonna go into my, yet again, effects column, grab track mat. Boom, apply that effect, apply it to the fourth video, video four. And now if we press play, this is what we get. You're like, Zach, that's so weird. It cuts back to the original shot again. I don't know what's going on. So the next thing you wanna do is actually, let's drag these above. So let's bring them up a couple tracks and then they're gonna play above our set of first shots. And now the track mat is obviously set to the V6 level. So now we have to go into here, type in uh, V6, bam. And now if we press play, it goes from that to that. And then this shot ends a little early. So we're just drag this out. Boom, so let's just press play on all of it. Pretty cool. And then the final thing that you guys can do with these matte effects is actually go into your angle wipes. Let's just find this one. We're gonna drag and drop it over the top and you don't have to apply a track mat onto it. An actual really quick thing that you can do is apply a tint, apply. Apply a tint, trint, tint. Go into your color correction, apply a tint. Go into effects map white, change it to let's say red, and then we're going to change this to screen. And now we've got this like cool color effect that's playing over top of my video. And what I can do is I can actually grab that, set this into reverse, so speed duration. It's gonna snap into red and snap out of red. So when we press play on this credit sequence, And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching that tutorial. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do. You can add in crazy titles uh, and just start applying it and layering it on top of each other. But using these wipes and swipes can really start to add a bit of dynamicness. A couple quick tips that I'd add in is try and incorporate diversity in your footage. So what I like to do is like photographs mixed with like different slow-mo imagery. But again, the big primary focus is to develop whatever message you're trying to show. So if it's photography, show shots of you holding a camera, taking photos, snappy animated titles that possibly explain a little bit about what you're doing and then maybe your title in the bottom corner or wherever. Um, again, if you wanna take a look at that crazy title sequence that I have um, part of an example piece, um, I recommend taking a look at my buddy Zark's YouTube page, Zark Life, um, that's where the title sequence is in. But this is inspired by uh, filmmakers like Chris Howe or Peter McKinnon uh, or Maddie Hipoya who have these really interesting opening title sequences and they're really simple to do once you have these effects laid in. Thanks again. I'll see you guys in another video. If you like what you're seeing and want to learn how to do like those crazy title sequences, um, I have a link to a tutorial in the description below where I teach you how to do animated title sequences in Premiere Pro super duper simply. So you can go on and check that out. If you like what you're seeing here on this YouTube page, 
Go on, give us a subscribe, part of premiumbeat.com's YouTube page. Really great stuff, awesome content from some super dope creators. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, take care.